Hello, my posse. Hello, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming to my living room today. Got the fireplace going. It's 38 degrees. Well, actually, it's 40 degrees today in Michigan. It's been so cold, I can't stand it. Where is spring? We want spring. Anyway, today is part five of my wig marathon. I have so many to go through, so I may do these back to back. You may see the same outfit. I don't know yet. I want to get them going here though. So yes, today I'm coming at you and I'm, I wore this wig purposely today. Today is a wig review from the wig company and I am going to do a new style to me. I mean, a lot of us like shags. Um, I don't know whether that stems from just growing up in the shag day. I don't want to say mullet because it's a shag. I had the first shag haircut ever. When I was in beauty school, I think I told this story before, when I was in beauty school, um, I was the guinea pig. And um, we had a stylist come in. Um, oh, I, I know we had Vidal Sassoon that came to our school that gave us some tips. But this was a different stylist, I think. But anyway, he introduced the shag cut to us girls, and I was the guinea pig. And I went and got the first shag cut from a girl that was studying to be a cosmetologist. So she didn't even have her license yet. We were just all starting out. And anyway, I got the first shag haircut well. I got a shag, all right. <laughs> I mean, it was so short on the side. And I had hair. This was my hair, like this. And... um so anyway, that's when I went out. Uh, we, our beauty shop, we had, we used to own um, a whole block. Well, not we, but my boss owned a whole block. He had a beauty salon on one end and a beauty supply house at the other one. And then he owned the beauty school. So we bought all our products from the beauty supply house. And then when we graduated and got our license, we went to the corner and we worked in the salon. So he had a whole thing going there. Anyway, sidetrack? No. Anyway, same kind of story. <laughs> Anyway, he, um, they cut my hair and I went right next door to his supply house and I bought a fall and I wore a fall until my own hair grew out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, occasionally I would wear my own hair cause then it, it, it got longer. It got cute. I, and for some reason after that, I liked the shag cut. So I went back to the shag a couple of times when I was older, graduated from beauty school. And uh, but anyway, so today is kind of a shag cut day uh, that I'm going to do. But I tell you, I wore this one. This is from the wig company. This wig was sent to me by Julie. Thank you, Julie. Uh, and this wig I reviewed before. Somebody just asked me about this if I had done bought this wig. And I said, yes, I did a wig review on this. I said, it's in my playlist. This is called Marty. And the color on this is 10, which is, oh my goodness, medium uh, brown, I believe. Anyway, you can find it. I'll link her below if you'd like, uh, if you'd like to see her. And this actually is pretty much, uh, my own hair was a little darker. This is like a little lighter brown um, than my own hair color was. But uh, I, She's pretty close, but my own hair was really dark. I don't know. I had a lot of red to my hair, but it was darker than this. And in fact, I just found this picture this morning when I was going through my pictures, looking at my kids and everything. Uh, but this picture here I'm going to put in. Um, Family Feud was big then, and they always had those Family Feud, they called poses where you were real serious and you did all these serious. So I had a photographer come and did me and Denny and uh, Greg, my oldest son, my Jeffy, and Gina uh, when they were smaller. And so we all did this serious pose and I have, my hair looks like this. I'm kind of like that in the picture. So let me just drop it in for giggles and squeaks. Yeah, so. <laughs> You can see I've worn my hair like this forever. This was my style. So new Marty, I love. My husband loved this. It reminds him of when we were dating. So this, I'm not reviewing hair today, but I thought I'd tell you this. And I started out with dark because I want to show you the difference and how you can transition yourself from dark to light. And um, it'll it's a shock factor when you first see me take this off and put this blonde wig on but after you see it a while which is you know kind of like for you um 
you get used to it, you know, and you can be different colors every day if you want to. You don't, just because you were a brunette like me when you were younger, doesn't mean that you have to be a brunette every day of your life now that we have these wonderful fashionable wigs. You can be any color that you want. And so I, I love that fact because some days my skin tone, maybe, you know, some days you get up and you go, Ugh, what happened? What, what, you know, I did a video on that about those ugly days. I don't know. Sometimes we have those days and you want a different color hair, you just have a different color hair. Sometimes you, you can have a style one day and you go, boy, this looks really hot this day. And you'll have the same style the next day and it doesn't look so good. So you can change it or you can't do that with your own hair. So you could, but you'd be in the bathroom for hours. So it's, this is like, bloop. anyway, I am doing today uh, one called Flip the Page. And um, a couple of people have reviewed her and um I did. I almost didn't get her. I'm not really sure. I, I her color, her her color, <laughs> puberty. Her color is um, a little light for me. I didn't realize that when I got a chance to pick her out that she was going to be so blonde for me. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this wig because I I just don't. I mean, I'm really olive, and some light colors look good on me, but some really blondes don't. And I'll show you the difference between this color and the uh, Redefined that I uh, reviewed before. But this one here is SF1488, and she has flipped the pa page, and she is average. And I think she's kind of shaggy. But I want to show you, I haven't cut the tags off. The only thing I did is um, that I haven't cut the tags off. Rewind. Let me know why not anybody do it. I haven't cut the tags off yet, but I have taken this crazy net off. So, because that thing takes forever to run. So, this is to get off. So, anyway, this is her, and this is really blonde, and she is called a shadow shade. And the shadow shades are all really rooted. I can't go outside today because it's raining and it's gloomy and it's bad days to shoot these wig marathons, but I'm telling you, if I had a fight for all the sunny days that we get here, I don't know. We're going down into the 30s again. We're getting snow on Friday. We have no sunshine. I don't know. It says next week. I can't wait till next week. But anyway, she is a shadow shade, and she, you can tell she is really uh, a blonde wig and definitely, definitely short on the sides, long in the back, definitely shag cut. So you're gonna see me transform into dark, into light. But first of all, let me just tell you a little bit about her. She is, um, I think the back is the nine and a half length in the back is what justifies her to be a shag because her uh, sides and crown uh, are only seven inches. So that's pretty short uh, hanging on the side. And depending on your neck, all my measurements are in the description box. My neck from my ear to my shoulders, I think I said five, five and a half. Anyway, it's in the description box. And that will tell you exactly how it hangs on me versus if you measure where she'll hang on you. So um, I'll put all her measurements in the uh, description box, but she is SS1488, which she is a golden wheat color. I wasn't expecting her to be, I mean, it says shadow shade, but I wasn't expecting her to be so blonde. I wasn't expecting her to be uh, so light, but compared to the ginger root of the Redefined that I did before, this is the ginger root color, and this is the golden wheat color. Hold on. This is ginger. You can see the brassiness more. Very pretty color, this Redefine, and more of the blonde in the flip the page. So that's the difference in the two. They're both together under shadow shades in the color options. So um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna put her on. Before I do, Marty is in the catalog for fifty eight forty three. If you look in the website, she's on the website for $77.90. So depending, you can use my code, which is in the description box, which Julie gave me, uh, which is a discount code for you if you would like to purchase any of the wigs. Uh, and I think that's such a nice, generous discount code for you. Um, and you can purchase new Marty if you want. My picture is in the, uh, is online when I reviewed her before. So 
we're gonna go try her on now. And her cap construction, of course, is um, really breathable. You can see she has some permatease up here. Uh, not a lot of height for me. Uh, I only flipped her on one time. Flipped the page on me one time I flipped her on. And uh, she's not very high for me. So um, I have to work with that a little bit. But a little permatease, very breathable. Uh, nice cap construction, Velcro tabs. Uh, nice ear tabs on the side that I love. So now we'll go try her on and you'll see the difference. Are you ready for this? Okay, here is the dark to blonde. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah, she's a little too blonde for me. But you know what? She's really cute. She's cuter than I thought she would. I just shook her and um, took her out of the box. Now, if you're a blonde and you like this, I would have to probably trim this on the side if I was going to keep her. And I would definitely cut her bangs if I was going to keep her. I don't want to cut her because I'm not sure I'm going to um, hang on to her. I may get her in an... I, I didn't think I'd like her when I put her on as much as I do, but I really, oh my goodness, I love this. So anyway, let's take a look. And by the way, I had on my pink square hairband with my Marty. You gotta have a square hairband. Let's see if we just put this on. Look, we just put this and we did nothing, nothing to her. Is that cute or what? Julie, you and these square hairbands. Anyway, so let's let's take a look and see. Let's flip around to flip the page and see what we got. This is my right, right. I think she's got, let me see. I haven't looked at her yet. Yeah, beautiful profile. Look at that wave in her, girls. Woo! Back. And my left. Wow. She is super cute. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I could wear. I don't know. I, I don't know. If I could. I don't know. I'd have to ask my husband. Let me go ask him what he thinks. But anyway, if you get in there and dig up that permatease, just get in there. You can squirt her with some water if you want. And just break up all that permatease. I think she's, I love the style. I love the shag cut. Uh, she's got a beautiful sweat bag. Now she doesn't have a lace front, but the way the shadowing is on the top, um, she's really um, pretty, very, very pretty. Nice, nice fit. This is an average, I didn't touch her. Great fit on her. Now, if you're looking for just, you know, some big earrings, you can see my dark, I'm too dark. And picture yourself now. There's a lot of you who email me who are blonde, uh, who love the blonde wig. Brittany, I think you're one. Um, and you love these blonde colors. You want a little pizzazz, a little sassiness, a little shag. This is the wig for you. I think she's good. She doesn't have much permatease. She's got these little strips up here. And I think that's strategically put in this wig to give her this fullness in here, which goes with this shag cut a little bit behind the ears. I don't think there's a whole lot, girls, to do with her. So if you're looking for a cute little plop and go, I don't even think that, you know, clips of any kind, I'm not gonna even do a whole lot of styles for you. Uh, we'll go with this. We'll take her and just direct the hair a little bit. Um,
But if you're looking for something, not too much styling to do, don't have time for styling. You know, you watch us do all the styling and everything on here. And, um, you know, some of you just don't want to do that. You just want to get a wig, put it on and go. This is one of the ones that I have showed you that is totally shaken out of the box and put on. And you can go anywhere. You could have really beautiful long earrings on that would hang down here. The length is perfect. The sides, the way it frames your face. And this bang, this side swept bang is really, really beautiful. And the shadow shade, some of you don't like the rooting, but the shadow shades, you can see when I say shadow, I can't go outside because it's raining. You can see how the shadow shades are. Very, very, very pretty. She's so cute. I'm surprised. Julie, I'm surprised that I like this flip the page because I've seen some review it and not so good. I think Monica from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle, she did one a little darker color, I think. I can't remember what Monty did. She looked pretty cute in this, too. It's, it's You either like this style or you don't like this style. Jean, you and me like shags, you know, Jean Jacobs. Her and I are like the shag queen. So this is just really, really, really a cute wig. Uh, she is in the online for $99.90, and I couldn't get a picture of her, how she looks in the catalog, but that's kind of like... If that's not blurry. Kind of like the way she is online, not the catalog, but online. So outside of girls, a square hairband. Now this, this I don't know if Julie's going to have these for summer coming up, the 4th of July. She ran these uh, last year. I got it, I think. And um, she's really cute, the, the red, white, and blue for the, the 4th of July, Memorial Day. Yeah, Memorial Day, that's May, right? Yeah, so maybe she'll have these again, I don't know. But that's really cute with her. Um, the pretty color with her would be two, would be, I love that shadowy shade though, she's so pretty. And this, you know, I would have to cut if I kept her, but I don't know if I am. Uh, and this one is, just mess her up, get her a little fuller around this square hairband. And it's like I say, if you're gonna buy a wig uh, and you don't want to, you don't want to really fuss with her that much, you really need to get yourself some square hairbands. I don't know how this would look if you didn't have bangs. You know, you could probably put it up, let's see. You just have to, you'd have to be strategic on how to place it to get your bangs. Um, that's kind of sloppy, but anyway, if you wanted a no bang or you, you wanted to get rid of a bang altogether and put it up, if you played with it a little bit, you could probably, uh, my own salt and pepper here, you could probably do that without, um, you could probably do that without any fuss or muss, but that's it. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot to do with her. And of course, you know, what would my wig reviews B <laughs> without my my prom <laughs> headband <laughs> always have to have my prom headband always anyway so that's about it I think I don't think there's a whole lot that you can do with her you could probably take her and put her in a clip and just a clip in the back Easy, just a little clip and that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of styles, but if you wanted to just um, put a little flower in her. For springs, electricity's probably need to uh, static. My house is dry because my furnaces are running. Flower on the side. <laughs> Get some static electricity going here. My house is so dry. It's so dry. My furnace, I can't believe my furnace is going 24 hours a day. So that's pretty much all that you have to do with her. She's very sexy, very sassy, very, very cute. So I jumped on you a little bit. I changed my top to black. You know, I love doing wig reviews in black tops. I do so many wig reviews 
that I hate to keep wearing black tops because I'll be have black tops in all my reviews, but that's fine because I wanted you to see the beauty of this with uh, with your neckline like this and a beautiful black, uh, cute little dress. Look how cute. She's a beautiful color. I like this color for my skin better than the uh, ginger root. Very platinum-y. You can see the multifaceted colors in her. She's very, very cute. Very cute. So not many styles I'm going to do. So I hope you like this. This is Flip the Page. Again, she is from the wig company. All her uh, measurements will be in the description box, including my measurements to show you how she falls on me uh, with my measurements and where she might fall on you. But the back of her is absolutely darling. Very cute wig, very cute wig. So thank you for to Julie. Thank you to Julie from The Wig Company for sending me this wig for review. And uh, if you like this wig, you can certainly email me. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep her. I don't know yet, I don't think so. I think she's a little too blonde for me, but I do these reviews for you. It's not always about Babsy. You know, I have to do them for you. I'm just laughing at the static. She is heat friendly, did I say that? And that's a, that's a good thing. Her fibers feel like heat friendly. I looked her up because I missed that. Uh, she is definitely heat friendly, just like the uh, Redefined are all heat friendly. So you can curl her, put a couple curls in her if you want her to be higher, but I really don't find her uh, to be, go down here, to be, <laughs> I can't, no matter what I do. Don't let that turn you off though. It's just because my house is dry. So, um, but anyway, she's not that flat. I think the poofiness in here uh, does it for me that makes her so cute. I love this shag. I love it. Now see, when I had my hair cut in the beauty school, I it was, it was only about this long all the way around. And then I had these long black, or not, I want to say black because my hair was black, but these long strips in the back that were like the shag. So it wasn't as classy as this. So anyway, so yeah, if you want to order it, go order it. She's super, super cute. I think the price is really good. Uh, she is not in this catalog that I could find, the new catalog that I got, but sometimes they're in the catalog uh, cheaper than they are online. But right now she's uh, $99.90. So thanks for coming by to my wig marathon part five. Now I'm going to be just sit here and do another one, and that'll be part six. <laughs> so I'll be back soon. So I hope you like these wig reviews so far and my little marathon, and um, stay tuned for more. I think she's really cute. So I'm flipping on out of here, girls. <laughs> I love you. Take care of yourself. Mwah. See you next time. Bye.